Hey all, it's me, Nachke. Welcome to this week's module of the Hoyt A program, where this week we are going to be talking about weather. So here we go. All right. How do you say, how is it outside? Or I'm sorry, how is the day? You say, Hampara Jaske J or Hampara Jaska J. Either way, tomato, tomato, it's up to you. All right, so here we've got a beautiful picture of outside and somebody says, Hampara Jaske J. That means, how is the day? Somebody could also say, Changeja Jaske J. Either way, you can use both of them. Um, and it just tells you, Hampara is the day, Jaske is how, and J means currently outside. Um, Changeji is outside, Jaske is how, J is the current positional. When you talk about outside, it's always J, it's always standing. Yeah, uh -huh. so you've got some responses that you can give somebody when they ask you. You could say Ma Pihi J, Ma Pihi J, that means it's currently nice out. You could say Ma Pihi Jane, Ma Pihi Jane, it's going to be nice out. Or you could talk about past tense too, and you could say ma pihi. It was nice out, ma pihi. All right, so with all these sentences, you can always add times or days um, into the sentences if you want. We're just starting out nice and slow, so we'll get you um, in the form of how these sentences are. So you can see here, we've got J as current tense. You see J-E at the end. The like in the second sentence is future tense. And then um, lastly, on all of these weather conditions that we're going to talk about, they all end in a vowel, which means that we don't have to add anything to past tense. We just kind of drag that sound down. So I'm going to say ma pi he. Did you catch it? Ma pi he. Okay. All righty. So now, what weather condition do you think this is? It is currently Maita Jewei He Jade. Maita Jewei He Jade. That is, it's windy. If you said windy, you were totally right. Unfortunately, we're not where these trees are, but you know, at the same time, we are fortunate because we don't want to have all that wind in it. All right, how are you going to say? How do you say it's going to be windy? Might the Jay he Janae. Got to add that Janae to the end. And then lastly, what do you think this one means? Ooh, we've got a, uh, a day in there. Not a day, but a time phrase. Jana ne might the Jay way he. Jana ne might the Jay way he. Means it was windy yesterday. All right, moving on. You guys, we have seven um, weather conditions that we're going to get to today. So here we've got Mahiwi Jade. It is currently Mahiwi Jade. That means it's cloudy. All right, so what do you think this one is? Mahiwi Janid. Mahiwi Janid. It's going to be cloudy. And then finally, Hainine Mahiwid. Hainine Mahiwid. That one is this morning. Yes, this past tense, this morning it was cloudy. All right. Moving on. All right. Sometimes it's like this outside in the morning or early evenings. It is Rujan Jade. Rujan Jade. And that means foggy. You add the J to the N, that makes it currently happening. Rujang by itself is fog. Rujang J means it's foggy as the weather condition. All right, not currently, but it's going to be Rujang Chenin. Rujang Chenin means it's going to be foggy. Good ones. And then Hainich Ji Rujang. Hainich Ji Rujang. What is Heine G? We haven't covered this yet, y'all. Well, you're gonna find out now. It is early this morning. Heine G, Ru Jung. 
early this morning, it was foggy. All right, all right. This picture isn't the greatest, but I think you guys can see what's happening there, right? It is Niju Jade. Niju Jade. It is currently raining. All right, take a guess. Niju Janine. Niju Janine. Yes, you were right. It's going to rain. And then Niju. Niju. It rained, past tense. You could say, okay, so if I said this to you, what would it mean? Uh, so I said, yesterday, all day, during the whole day, it rained. All right. This lady here looks a little. Okay, so you guys, last week we went over the words um, da kach and da suck. That is to be hot or to be cold. But when you're using it as a weather term, you use a different word other than da suck. So this chick is probably da suck, but we're talking about the weather condition and it's hosini hijade. Hosini hijade, which is it's cold. Hosini hik janen. Hosini hik janen. Hey, again, you could put a time phrase in there if you wanted to. Um, so it's going to be cold. So how would you say um, it's going to be cold tonight? How do you say tonight? And then you end it with it's going to be cold. So tonight is ha hey, but you got to put that future tense on there. So when we, we know what night you're talking about. So you can say uh, ha hey the a. Or you could say ha he gi, but then you would end it with the hosini hik jane. And then ha chak regi hosini hi. Ha chak regi hosini hi. There's a time or a day in there for you guys. Good one. Yes, it was cold last Monday. Sweet. Oh, look at this one. Isn't that a beautiful scenery? And look at, I put an exclamation mark at the end of this one. Wahoo hee Wahoo hee You don't have to say it like that. But um, you know that first time that it snows, okay, so if you don't guys don't know, it means it's snowing. But the first time it snows, it's just so magical, isn't it? And everyone's excited, most people, and they just want to scream it out, Wahoo hee Right? But as winter progresses, you know, we're not going to be screaming it all that excitedly. All right, then um, we've got the future tense. Wahu hik jene, it's going to snow, right? And then finally, haini chi wahu hi. I wanted to throw that haini chi at you again. Haini chi wahu hi. So early this morning, it snowed. All righty, you guys, good ones. Okay, so that was it. That was seven for us. So just to recap, we've got ma pihi. Which is the nice weather. We've got Maita Jewehi. Maita Jewehi is windy. Mahiwi. Mahiwi is cloudy. Rujan. Rujan, foggy. Niju. Niju, rain. Osinihi. Osinihi, cold. And wahuhi, wahuhi, snowing. Oh, it looks like we had just to recap again. Hampara jaske j or chungeja jaske j. Or again, you could say hampara jaska j or chungeja jaska j. Either way, it's up to you. Um, I mean, however you want to say it, whichever phrase you want to use, make your choice. Um, and then just a reminder that the present tense on those weather, weather uh, phrases, they always end in J when it's currently happening. Um, it's going to happen. You can use jene at the end. You could also use the word headache jene. Um, I know Henning uses that in his uh, weather stories on Facebook. And then in past tense, when you want to talk about it, these all ended in vowels, so all we do is drag the sound out and down. 
So jegung kira magapini vivi. Stop the share. All right, that's it for this week's module. Um, again, check us out on YouTube for any past videos. Make sure you guys check out Henning's um, weather reports. I'm gonna put a link up um, with this post so that you guys can see that. And we will meet with our eminent speakers, Heinegi, on Wednesday at 11 for our Zoom session. But then Thursday, you guys, it's Veterans Day, so we're not working. We get to celebrate our veterans. Um, so we will um, just, it's going to be a short week for us. So, Jay Kunkia, Honey Chuck Joey, see y'all later.